Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. We are going to dive right into Psalm chapter 19. And I want to ask you, if you are aware of ever hearing speech from something that cannot speak. I assure you, it has happened in your life, although you may not have recognized it as such. Psalm chapter 19 explains how this is possible. It says in verse number one, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Now stop right there and think for a moment about something you would consider to be handiwork. It might be a beautiful quilt you've seen that your grandmother quilted. It could be a piece of woodworking or carpentry that your father or grandfather did. And you look at it and you say, that is workmanship. That is the handiwork of a master craftsman or master seamstress. The thing we are admiring is pointing to the one who created it and their skill. And in the same way, David is saying the heavens, the stars, the sky, the planets, the meteors, the moon, everything we see above us proclaims God's handiwork. And it proclaims bigger than that, his glory. This is not hard to understand when you stand out in a starry night, out in a place away from the light of a city and away from other strong sources of light coming from planet Earth, and you're able to see the myriad of stars in the dark sky. And you can just see bazillions of them. And there's no hope of counting them. And you soon begin to realize that everything you see down to its minutest detail, including the vast expanses of space from one star to another, including the clockwork precision with which it all works, all of that is the handiwork of God. And we must learn to slow ourselves down long enough to see it and recognize it for what it is. Verse 2 says, day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. So that is how you have heard speech from something incapable of speech. You've heard it with your eyes. <laughs> You've accepted it with your mind and comprehended it. You've pondered it and you've understood from what creation speaks that God is majestic and glorious. He is massive. He is awesome. And he is incredibly worthy of our praise. Here's your assignment. Do what you can this evening to get outside once the stars are out and to stand and gaze. Hopefully it's not a cloudly night. And you can gaze out and see the handiwork of God. And then read this verse to yourself. Pull it up on your phone and read it. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Take the time to let Scripture and creation speak to you about the wonders and glories of who your God is. Let it soak into you. Let it overwhelm you. Let yourself begin to realize how great your God is. And let me help you see why this is so important. We often get sidetracked by smaller stresses and situations in our day, maybe petty conversations that upset us or, or some offense that we take over some issue. And if we could stop and see how majestic and mighty and grand our God is, we would realize we're getting all worked up about nothing. Because those things we are thinking about, those things we are focusing on are so small in comparison to His ability to help us through. Take some time right now to thank Him for His grandeur and His majesty. And tell someone else how big your God is. <laughs>